So in this class, we'll see how inheritance works with abstract classes. In the previous class, I mentioned that an abstract class is always created with by using the keyword abstract. Okay. So in an abstract class, you need at least one abstract method. So here in this mammal class, I have a method called walk, which basically walks, the, which lets the mammal walk from point A to point B, and it's an abstract method. So it doesn't have any implementation here. And this mammal class is the base class or the super class, and we have a tiger class, which is a subclass. And this tiger class is a concrete class because it doesn't have the keyword abstract in front of it. And this tiger class actually provides an implementation for the walk method. So the walk method is being, you're giving a body inside the derived class or, this, or the subclass. So let's see what happens if we do not provide this implementation. So let's comment out these lines. and you will see that there will be, there is a compilation error which says the type tiger must implement the inherited abstract method mammal.walk because here we are saying that tiger is not an abstract class it is a, that, that means it's only uh, the only other option is it's a concrete class so for a concrete class it must implement all the methods that it inherits from the base classes actually it needs to implement all the methods that it inherits from its parent classes okay in this particular example we have just one parent class but if mammal inherits from another class and there are some abstract methods public abstract methods in those classes then tiger needs to implement those methods as well so here our options are either you make this class also abstract the tiger class also becomes abstract and then you cannot instantiate a tiger anymore so you need to comment out these lines so now tiger class also becomes an abstract class so you cannot instantiate even a tiger if you try to instantiate a tiger it's going to complain that tiger is an abstract class and you cannot instantiate it so let's make a uh, tiger a concrete class and when we make tiger a concrete class you'll get an error which says it should implement the walk method so let's uncomment this method out and now the tiger class has become a concrete class because you have implemented all the methods all the abstract methods from that the tiger class has inherited it has inherited from the mammal class which is an abstract class which has one abstract method so it needs to provide an implementation for the walk method which is an abstract method in the mammal class so let's make one more change now now we have a concrete method in the abstract class in an abstract class it is not a requirement that it should not have concrete methods yes it can have one or more concrete methods but the basic requirement is it should have at least one abstract method it can have one or more concrete methods but it should have one abstract method that is the key okay so let's make the run also an abstract method and how do you make something abstract you use the keyword abstract in front of it and then you remove the body of the method and make it abstract so because you have made this run method abstract you have to remove its body and say and put a semicolon which just provides a method declaration so if you have two methods declared here the walk method and the run method and they are both abstract so in the tiger class it's a concrete class it it already implemented the walk method but now since the run method has become abstract it needs to implement that as well so what are our options here there are two options either we add the unimplemented methods that is provide an implementation for the unimplemented methods in this case the un only unimplemented method is run so we have to provide an implementation for the run or your other option is to make tiger class also abstract okay so you can have you can make the tiger class abstract and the compilation errors go away but you but you cannot instantiate a tiger 
so you still need to comment out these two lines okay so our other option is to make this tiger class a concrete class but in that case we need to provide an implementation for the run method because it's a tiger is now a concrete class so it should provide implementation for all the methods for all the abstract methods so now we have provided an implementation for the run method so now the tiger class is a concrete class and you can, now you can instantiate the tiger class now the tiger can walk and the tiger can run as well see tiger is ok and tiger is oh I need to make this run now if you see it will say tiger is, is walking from Dallas to Irving tiger is running from Dallas to Irving so this is how you use inheritance with abstract classes so you can make the derived classes abstract by not implementing all the abstract methods that it inherits from its parent classes or you can make the derived class a concrete class by in providing an implementation for all the public methods that it inherits from its parent base classes.